What's going on guys? Shinobi here and uh, playing some Battlegrounds leveling up this rogue that I've been it's kind of like what I've been doing all week here just leveling them up right now currently his slash plate is two days and ten hours only been leveling up through instances and PvP um, which has definitely been a lot of fun I got Chuck here what's going on man not much he's decided that he wants to level with me a little bit he's got his alt as a paladin you got yeah what's his name Chuck something Chuck a log Chuck a log <laughs> yeah so we're just doing uh, some battlegroundage right here. I'm subtlety spec level 82. My gear is pretty good. I mean, there's no obviously there's no resi uh, resilience or anything, but my eye level is about 300. What's yours at? My eye level? Yeah. 243. Yeah. So definitely that's going to be one factor I feel in this bracket. It's the first time playing this bracket for me in a really long time. So I feel that like. Uh, the vary of gear is going to be ridiculous. Like Chuck was telling me, like, see this guy right beside me here. We got a blood DK on our team. It's 84 with like 81,000 health. So some pretty people like that we just got to stay away from because some people they they'll get these twinks level 84 and they'll just literally like get the best gear possible for level 84 and it's kind of ridiculous. But that's how the game goes. So you know, I'm not trying to twink my character out here. And neither is Chuck. We're just trying to level really I'm almost level 83 and it is Strand of the Ancient Weekend we're not in Strand of the Ancients right now I'm not a huge fan of that battleground do you like that battleground no all um, I like is Warsong Gulch and Twin Peaks Warsong Gulch and Twin Peaks so you like yeah. capture the flag pretty much mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah oh here we go I don't want to overextend here, but it looks like I got no choice. Let's take him down. Get back. Let's see if we can do a little... See if we can get the most killing blows, the most damage and such. You are warriors. So you got some uh, blade storm action, but we'll see how it goes. I'm a paladin. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. There's so many of them here. I'm not even going to come out of stealth. And I'm brought. So. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I got to... My keybinds are in different positions because I I've been leveling as assassination when I'm doing like instances and stuff, but like when you know when you're in here, obviously um, you want to switch to a PVP type spec. Oh, die die! I'm killing a blood DK right now. I think he's blood. He has low health though, but okay. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna try and get a re-stealth off here. I don't want to waste my vanish cooldown, so I'll just kind of run out of combat. Now we are alliance, and one major one major reason for me switching to alliance is the fact that they can win in PvP situations. Uh, do you find that you win a lot on the alliance, Chuck? Yeah, ten yeah. times more than I do on Horde. Yeah. And we are on, uh, see, I'm, see right here you might be thinking, yo, Shinobi, why don't you just come out of combat and help that guy out? Because there's no point. There's no point of coming out, because look, it's like 7 to 1. I'm just going to die. I mean, I might get a kill, but it's not smart. You know, you want to pick your battles, really. Yeah, I'm going to go after this guy, though. Try and take him down. See if I can get a stun on him. Oh, this guy's got the flag right here. This guy's like got 80k health too. Oh, and he's a mage, like the fuck. I hate yeah. twinks. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, got him. Nice. Got the flag. Let me try and get out of combat here. I got the flag. Oh, nice. Uh, we don't have that area, so I'm gonna switch to the other side. I I didn't think that I clicked it, but I'm gonna run to the other side and try and cap this here. See if I can get over there. Typically, as a rogue, it's not a good idea to be running the flag, but you know, situations. I'm used to back in the day when we did a lot of BGs like crazy when I was going for High Warlord. Like, just you always get that, like, you know, when you kill someone that's with the flag, you just spam on top of them so you can click that flag right away, you know? Mm -hmm. Is that something you're used to for being the flag carrier for, uh, for Dara McTeer? Yeah. yeah. I hate that though. Because sometimes you'll click on someone else and... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you ever, like... So what's some of, like, the experiences people don't know that are listening to the video, like... Because you're the, you're the main flag character, 
carrier for Dynamax here, right? Not the main, just one of them. Oh, okay. So you guys have a couple of them, so like, yeah. they'll either choose to take you or somebody else sometimes, or sometimes do they squeeze you both in, or they say, sorry, you can't make it in this one, or like, is that how it goes, or? Pretty much whoever is online. Because <laughs> oh, okay. right now there's not many people playing. So they don't really hold him up higher than you, and they don't really hire hold you higher than him either. Who is the other one, by the way? The other flight carrier. I have no idea. They uh, come and go. They come and go. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't like staying prod. You know what I mean? They go, they they go prod, and they don't like to stay because it's boring. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Oh, crit on big time there. Take that. I like this bracket though. You seem to be doing all right here. We're winning. That's always nice. Oh, I'm, I'm dying. No, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> Just out of nowhere, like the damage that some some twink classes can do, just like boom, dead. Your health drops, mm -hmm. dead. That's something I gotta get used to too, cause like I played a lot of tankier classes, warrior, death knight, uh, you know, rep paladins. Been like the one I've been playing recently, and playing a rogue, you gotta get used to that. Going back to that finesse, like it was like one of my first characters I ever played to cap level, and. It's more of a finesse class, whereas, like, if you start taking damage, you need to do something about that, because you're gonna die. Like, because you're pretty yeah. squishy, so. Uh. I'm gonna have to see... I think I got... I think I got a new ability when I just hit, like, 82 that I need to, like, put on my... I think I gotta put on a pretty important ability on my bar. Get over here. God, where, are you, where are you at right now? Are you prot? Yeah, I'm going mage tower. Oh, okay. They got they got the flag in the middle there. I don't know if that's our flare or not, but me run over there. Oh, they dropped it. Nice. Get it, get it, get it. Maybe we'll let that guy get. Oh, did it go back? All right. Alright, so we have two right now, and they have two as well, but we are winning, because we have kept some flag action, thanks to me. Um, oh, that's right, yeah, I have this on my bar. Shouldn't have that. I need to put... Where is it at? I just got it. It's like one of the most main abilities for defensive abilities that, uh, that rogues get. Combat readiness, there it is. Oh. Razor Naga is messing up. Like the there it mage. is. Oh, yes, it got him. Fuck. Wow. Oh, there's like so many over there. Oh, God. Run. Run, Pandango. <laughs> Pandango. <laughs> he's like a twink guy, though. He's got like 90k health. It's freaking flying. He's flying around my monitor. Get out of here. Oh, man. I told you about the that sponsor that I got, right? Gung Ho. Yes. And the funny thing is, is when I took that, I didn't mention it in the review video that I did for it. But the funny thing is, is that I I got um, you know, an achievement apparently. When I when I took that Gung Ho stuff, my focus was like so good while I was playing that like I had this fly and I get these flies around my room that like they they get me so mad because they keep like going in front of my monitor because I play in the dark. So the only bright area is my monitor, and so these, mm -hmm. so this fly comes over right to my monitor. And I say, "Oh no, you don't!" And, I'm, and I caught it. I caught the freaking fly. Like that's how good my focus was from taking that like that stuff. Like it actually does help. Like it's, I'm not just like making that up in the video because oh it's a sponsor, blah blah blah. No, like it does help, and it's pretty funny. I've like never caught a fly before. Get on, buddy. You too. You're next. So, what have you been up to lately? As far as World of Warcraft, aka life. Also, life. <laughs> Not much. I've just been playing Minecraft a lot, though. Yeah, you've been really in. Have you tried the Tech It thing out that I saw, like, the yeah. Dogs cast doing? Is There's it so much cool? shit. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Oh, uh, yeah. 
have like 50, like 60 pages of item, new items, and I'm like, well, what do I do with this crap? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna die. Get him. Get him. Got him. Gotta get out of here. 60 pages? What, is, what does that mean? Like, I've never played Minecraft before. People want me to play it on the channel, but I just don't really know much about it, and... It's kind of like, the thing I don't like about it, it's too simplistic of a game. It's like, okay, you're pretty, but practically a caveman. Have fun. Like, I, I don't get the appeal from it. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, is that exactly I, I, what it is, or am I just, like, overreacting? Pretty much just build stuff. I mean, there's not, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, I didn't, like, I didn't, I was like that too, but then I got really bored and I started playing it, and it was really fun. Yeah. It'd be cool to do like a dual commentary thing like Yogg's cast does. That'd be pretty cool. You know, I would like that. You know, no doubt about it. There's so many around here, I don't even want to come out of stealth. It's just like nine of them here. They're not even like paying attention to the game anymore. They're just all fighting right here, which is like <laughs> why they're losing. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you when like uh when you're when you're in your uh, rated battlegrounds with Dire Mactir, do you like if people if you people stray off and you know kind of go into like the middle and you know just kind of do their own thing like do they get mad at you type thing like is yeah. that something that happens you get bitched at and then you're not invited to the group anymore <laughs> yeah yeah because like I know when I used to run Conquered which we were you know had all the high warlords on the server we uh if people were messing around and they weren't like doing it like if we were like what are you doing like you need to be on top of this like you when when each team has the flag you need to either be protecting the flag or going to get the other flag the enemy that efc and if you're not doing either of those then you're fucking <laughs> you're just wasting your time really you know mm -hmm. do you ever do you ever feel that way too it's like <laughs> yeah it's, well what we do is take so mad we well, take two bases, run the middle, grab the flag and hold it the whole time, and cap it at the end, pretty much. Now, I saw something really cool, and I don't know if this is, like, legit, like, if you can do this, but I thought, like, this is a way that you can, like, pretty much break the game. And, um, the way it is, you know that, uh, Twin Peaks one? Mm hmm You know, if you grab the flag, you know how you can fall off that cliff over there? What if you were to fall off that cliff with the flag, and say you were, It responds. Um, yeah, but yeah, but wait. But say you were a um, paladin, and you fall down, and you don't die, and you land down there because you bubbled, and the flag's now down there too. And then you grab the flag again and stay down there. Could you do that? And like, no, it's a pit. You just die no matter what. Even I thought there was like a ground in there or something. No. I never really looked down there, but I just thought about that the other night. I was like, that'd be like pretty game game breaking. You're like, okay, we're ahead. And just go down there, and people that try and come down just <laughs> kill themselves. That'd be pretty insane. Okay, they're getting a flag here. Yeah. Uh, Chuck's also recording his version of this as well, so what I might do is he'll send me, after he cuts it and everything and sends me the footage, I'm going to put it together and they maybe will be able to get both perspectives on both of us so that you don't just see me like, you know, running through middle and taking forever to get to an area. You actually just get to see more combat and more action, so uh, I think it might be a pretty cool aspect. Actually, Chuck's the one that brought the idea up to me. Wow, I just like own this guy. This bracket's pretty nice, I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting owned. You're dying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just kind of like picking my battles. I'm not really, um, you know. Well, that right there was just kind of cheap, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Die. One thing I do like about Rogue, though, is just like that control you have over the other person. You know, like, Ro um, Mage is really good at, you know, controlling. As I say that, I'm like getting pelted. Um... You know, Mage is really good at controlling the fight because they have a lot of, like, slows and Frost Nova and Sheep and stuff. But a Rogue, like, they can just lock you down with stuns. And then, you know, they can choose when to use those stuns, which gives a lot of control to the fight. Which is really something that, you know, I want to, that I like, you know. Do you ever, you ever have a hard time against Rogues, like, on your main, your warrior? Not really. I stack resilience. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. every other class I do. It's funny in the videos like Swifty and Bajira, they always complain about rogues. 
and then like they top the damage meters and they go like 105 and 0 and they're like man rogues are so overpowered and they're like <laughs> 105 and 0 you are like um maybe yeah. warriors are a little bit everybody thinks warriors are underpowered man i don't think so i think they're pretty they're pretty strong if you well the thing about they always do random battlegrounds where everyone in there has zero skill and yeah. if you put a 2200 player in no matter what class you're just gonna wreck shit yeah, so, true, true. That's why warriors just look good there. That's true, yeah. I guess you can see that, because, like, you know, when, when, when Swifty or Bajira, they go into, like, you know, a threes or, you know, a higher rated RBG or something like that, then it might be a little different of a situation. A big difference. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, because not only do you have the other team, you know, uh, saying commands and like coming up with strategies on the fly and well not even on the fly but they have a lot of strategies already and then you also have the aspect of you know no oh, this guy <laughs> like I just got knocked off the map now I'm dead uh, <laughs> freaking fly I was killing this guy and he got knocked off the map is it over yep. that's it we win did you beat me where are you I don't Chuck know Chuck a Chuck six and ten oh I beat you I was fifteen and two I think I had the best kill to death ratio. Something yeah. like that. Not too bad. Alright. Alright. Well. Some ownage.